Uh, and so he starts uh, working with uh, Anselm and uh, writes uh, a book, Faith Seeking Understanding, um, derived from Anselm's uh, thought. And the beginning of Anselm's uh, book is uh, very interesting because it starts with a prayer. And it starts with a prayer that asks for God's help in pursuing the project of theology. And so I'm says that, you know, I, I know thee, I love thee, and uh, give me uh, help as I seek to understand uh, more fully. Uh, and so Anselm starts from a position of faith and then sees the theological project as exploring that faith uh, further intellectually, uh, but also as a spiritual uh, quest. Uh, and Barth finds in that um, the realisation that um, for all the uh, uh, negative uh, work that he thinks and, and continues to believe is necessary to divest ourselves of all kinds of inappropriate theological thinking about God, um, nonetheless, um, the, theological, the, the project of theology can be rooted in confidence in its object, in confidence in uh, God. And so we can start with a confidence that uh, that God is, that God is who God says God is, that we can uh, depend on the revelation uh, that God, and the communication that God has had with us. Um, and we can do our theology uh, you know, joyfully and confidently in that uh, discovery. Um, now, different interpreters of Bart have given uh, different uh, degrees of prominence to this as a new uh, turn in uh, Bart's uh, theology. Uh, the Catholic theologian von Balthasar saw that as a very significant moment in the development of uh, Barth's thought. Uh, but more recent interpretation, most prominently that of Bruce McCormack, has suggested that we, um, oh, we tend to exaggerate, and, and um, von Balthasar has exaggerated that as a turning point. Um, McCormack's comments, interesting, that Barth's often a very unreliable uh, reporter of his own intellectual development. And so we need to take Bart's words on this uh, cautiously and that there are you know, strong trajectories in his thought um, well before we get to Anselm that suggest this turn. Um, but certainly, it, um, as, as Bart sees it, uh, this engagement with Anselm is um, very significant in just helping him think very clearly about what the project is um, and um, uh, sort of shaping and anchoring the theological project in a way that is hugely influential for the whole of the rest of his uh, uh, theological career. Yeah, so as Bart moves on from the Anselm uh, commentary, um, he is very clear that he wants uh, to find a way of developing a large-scale systematic theological project, an account of the faith um, that takes seriously the insights that he's had uh, along the way. Um, and so he embarks um, first on uh, a, a sort of boarded project, a Christian uh, dogmatics, and then starts on um, you know, the name he, that he decides he wants to give uh, this uh, grand-scale work is uh, the church dogmatics. And we need to be uh, attentive to the title he chooses, uh, because this is not, uh, in Barth's view, some sort of free-floating speculative uh, theology. This is a theology in, in the service of the church. Um, and Barth uh, sees it as very important to our construction of theology that we see this grounded in the experience of the ecclesial uh, community, the church community, um, and uh, we're doing our theology from uh, that location, uh, and that remains uh, the emphasis throughout uh, the, the church dogmatics. Um, the other um, very significant insight he uh, comes to as he begins uh, the church dogmatics is that the project of uh, Christian theology ought to be uh, focused uh, uh, very fundamentally on the person of Jesus Christ. Now that may seem like uh, um, a fairly obvious uh, thing to say about a Christian theological uh, project, but it was um, a new insight that Karl that Bart brought to theology, 
um, that not just when we're thinking about Christ himself, uh, but when we're thinking about any area of, of uh, Christian theology at all, uh, creation, uh, uh, reconciliation, uh, redemption, all our thinking about theology needs to be focused on this person of Jesus Christ. So how do we understand, for example, what it is to be human? Uh, we don't um, sit around and uh, reflect on ourselves and our neighbours. We uh, gain a fundamental understanding of what it means to be human by looking at the humanity of Jesus Christ. Um, and so again and again throughout his theological scheme, um, um, he, he, he takes uh, this uh, Christological focus um, as um, his uh, very significant guiding uh, principle. Uh, and so some of his critics uh, accuse him of um, going too far with this Christological uh, focus. He's called um, a Christological monist. You know, he's, uh, people uh, worry that he's doing so much uh, of his doctrinal work through Jesus Christ that he's um, uh, forgotten other parts of uh, the Trinity. Uh, Bart's response to that uh, would be that it's in the person of Jesus Christ uh, that uh, we see the whole of God and uh, uh, we, we see a, a sort of complete revelation of who God is for us. Um, and so through uh, Christ, we also uh, are brought into encounter uh, with the Father, uh, and our encounter with Jesus Christ is mediated to us uh, through the Spirit. Um, and so uh, Bart thinks this is an entirely uh, appropriate and faithful way of attending to the, the whole of uh, God's uh, revelation uh, to us, and that to focus our attention anywhere else would risk uh, attending to voices that are other than uh, God's, which was the uh, major problem he had with um, the, the German theology of his time. I mean, by, by this time in uh, Germany, um, some of the German liberal theologians that he's been worried about in the past are now giving their support to the rise of the Nazi party in uh, Germany. And again, Barth thinks that that um, uh, that political allegiance is again the result of a theological mistake. Um, and so the Nazi theologians are identifying uh, the German uh, people with uh, uh, the new Israel. They're identifying the German language as the new uh, Hebrew, and they think there is some divine significance to the preservation of uh, Nazi race and, and, and Nazi, the Nazi uh, bloodline. Uh, and Barth says, well, that's what would happen if you had an improper mixing of uh, the human...